if I'm going to try to explain the Trinity to anybody, the, the, the concept that God is three in one, I always turn to 1 John chapter 5. I always turn to 1 John chapter 5. It just, it's just the most clear passage. And this is the passage that the modern verses, they want to combine the two into one. They want to mix it up and change it and not have as powerful of a passage. Why? Because this is an extremely important doctrine that needs to be understood. Look at verse number six. The Bible reads, This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ. Not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. So verse number seven there says that there's three that bear record in heaven. And this is preceded by the verse that's talking about bearing witness. Now, when you read the Bible, there is an importance to bearing witness, right? And establishing truth. And throughout God's law, when you have two or three witnesses, the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established, even going into the, to the, you know, the church the environment and just establishing facts and understanding what's true and what's not true. You need to have witnesses. And bearing truth, it says, you know, it's referring, it's talk, it starts off talking about Jesus Christ in verse number six. And being born of God, you know, prior to that, who, you know, who is he to overcome at the world? But he that believe that Jesus is the son of God, the importance of Jesus Christ, just being the son of God, the focus on Jesus Christ. Is there not a focus on Jesus Christ in the New Testament? Of course there is. He's the savior of the world, right? There's none other name given among men whereby we must be saved other than the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is our Savior, so obviously there's a focus on Jesus Christ, but then he goes further to explain, hey, who is he to overcome the world? But he that believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and then explains a little bit, this is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, water and blood, flesh, right? He came physically into this world. He was born into this world, not by water only, but by water and blood. It wasn't just his spiritual body being born physically, being born of water, it was water and blood. He was a man. He was fully human. It's water and blood. He came into this world. And then it says, and it is the Spirit that beareth witness because the Spirit is truth. So right off the bat, we have the Holy Spirit bearing witness of the birth of Jesus Christ, saying, well, the Spirit is truth. And there's a witness. And then to further bolster the witness of the Spirit, the Bible says, for there are three that bear record in heaven. There are three re record bearers. There are three witnesses. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. So in order to have this, the, the whole point of even bringing up that there's three is to give you, hey, you have know, one witness, two witness, three witnesses, separate witnesses to give you the establishment of the truth to say, hey, there's three witnesses here that are all saying the same thing, the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost. But then the Bible further is, explains that to say, and these three are one, because there's one God. There is one God. This isn't, this isn't polytheism. They're not separate individual gods that are just operating as three gods. There's three persons, but one God. They share all of the same exact attributes and qualities of God. And this is one of the reasons why I was making a point. As we continue to go through week after week, the various attributes of God, I would demonstrate at least between the Father and the Son. I was at least trying to show you, you know, I didn't make as much of a concerted effort to... to show attributes with the Holy Spirit, even though those exist also and they're around. I just at least wanted to show you those examples of the Father and the Word and how they possessed these attributes, the omnipresence, the omnipotence, all, all of these various attributes. We went through all of the various attributes of God and how they are shared among all three persons of God because they are all God and they exist as God. 100% completely. But in order for God to be God, there's, you can't separate the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yet they all exist uniquely as persons of God.